Toute rencontre entre la Russie et la Corée du Nord indiquerait que la stratégie occidentale fonctionne, assure Euronews l'ambassadeur américain auprès de l'Union européenne. Selon Mark Gittenstein, le président russe a déjà perdu la guerre. He's bombing the silos. He started this war. He's the one that's causing the food crisis around the world. People are starving because of his decisions. And here in Brussels, of course, they rely on you as well. Do you see the support there still? Are Americans who will, of course, vote next year, are they still very supportive of the Ukrainians? Americans, I like to believe, are a lot like I do, like I am. I watch television every day. It's like watching World War II on live stream. I mean, it's a When you see Russians bombing maternity wards or blowing up apartment buildings, your natural moral instinct is to say we've got to do something about it. And I think that's how they act in the United States when I talk to them. And even Republican senators who I talk to often when they come here say the same thing to me. We'll be with you as long as uh, you need us. Are you sure? Are we seeing that in the not, not Not all of them, enough of them. <laughs> And we have all of the Democrats, so I'm pretty confident we'll be fine. Even though a lot of U.S. officials were critical as well of the counteroffensive, saying it was too slow. Uh, there are a lot of people who are very happy with the way it's going and understand how difficult breaking a defensive regime like this is. When you have a fascist government run by a military that will do anything, it's hard to break that hole. But, you know, just like we did in World War II, Uh, these Ukrainians will do the same thing. I just got back from the, the D-Day beaches in Normandy and I saw how difficult that is. I'm very confident the Ukrainians will win, will win this. And I already know that Putin has lost it. So. 